Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. So I am just kind of playing around with the armor, and one thing that I've noticed here with it, the step assist is broken. It won't let me step up any one single block, and that's supposed to be a feature of the boots. If we go into the Draconic Boots here, into the menu, and we can adjust this. Uh, step assist on or off, it's on, right? Allows you to step up one full block without jumping. It won't let me step up one block. I've tried many different blocks, partial blocks, full blocks. Yeah, nothing, it won't allow me to climb up anything. Like this is a full block right here. It should allow me just to walk up, but it won't let me do that. I've tried, let's see, boost on sprint on. I've tried that off. Yeah, it looks like that is just completely busted in this version of Draconic Evolution for some reason. I'm not sure why. Hm. Anyway. Um, I just got done enchanting our Draconic Staff of Power, so now this thing has Looting 3, Silk Touch, or Fortune, Reaper 5, and Sharpness 5. Probably don't really need that Sharpness 5, but I put it on there anyway. So yeah, with the Draconic Staff of Power, you can go in there and change the settings, so you can apply the enchantment with the anvil if you want, or you can use the enchantment applicator from Industrial Foregoing, which I ended up doing and to turn off different things we don't want reaper anymore you can just click that off and then if we go in and look at this it no longer shows it has reaper right so it says that we have silk touch so we can come in here let's turn this back on we can also turn on fortune uh so now we have <laughs> silk touch and fortune what that's illegal yeah you can do that if you want to uh but anyway this allows us to easily switch between fortune or silk touch should we choose to do that mm-hmm so yeah, that's all done. Uh, that's why I had this bow in my uh, on my hot bar there, because yeah, I was applying the enchantments. But anyway, what I wanted to work on today is I would like to take a look at the Tome of Knowledge. So this particular item, this will allow us to go ahead and learn every single item in the game that has EMC, right? So I think that's going to be like a really good thing for us to do. That way we don't have to like craft up anything else going forward that has EMC. The system will just know about it. Now there are some things in here that I'm not sure if we can do. There are some things in here that we haven't done yet. Um, these hell, the hell shell from Apotheosis, this allows you to do like really high enchantments. I don't know if that's enabled in this mod pack or not. Um... But yeah, I've played other mod packs with these where you can do like enchantments up to like level 300 or something like that. And you can get like crazy unbreaking a billion enchantments. But anyway, it wants us to make these. These do not have EMC. The regeneration does not have EMC. So we're going to have to do some stuff here. Either like automate the brewing stand or use the potion brewer to set up uh, some of these things. So that's something that we're going to have to do. We need... Actually, I guess we'd only have to make one and then we can animate and spawn it in. So... Uh, we we would probably just use a regular brewing stand for that. Uh, Essence of Knowledge, Thermal Foundation, we've done that before. Green Gems, Red Gem Wafers. I'm not sure if we've done a Red Gem Wafer yet. Red Gem, no, it doesn't look like we've done that before. So that'll be something that we'll have to set up. Let's actually bookmark this so we don't have to go through there anymore. Uh, the spectral Colored Lens. So we have to do a little Astral Sorcery Crafting. All right, that's good enough, or uh, easy enough. Seer's Sigil. I think we've made one of those previously, but yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit more blood magic again. Uh, we need some reinforced slate plus the slight reagent, and that is made with the divination sigil. We've done this before. I know we've made the Seer's Sigil a while ago. Okay, well, we got some stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and get all the easily crafted stuff that we've done before done. Um... This says unstable ingot. I think you can use a stable unstable. It's not flashing, so we might not be able to do that. But we might. So I'm going to do the stable unstable ingots for these. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get as much of this completed as stuff that we have done already. And then we'll be right back. All right, so we are still in the process of getting things going here. I am making the recipe for these red gem wafers. I'm going to go ahead and replace that silicon with the silicon that we use. Let's encode that. And then wafer, we can just add it right here. So we want to make four of those. So wafer, this, four, and it should just work. Yeah, everything's available. So we'll just assume everything's going to be fine. 
Um, instead of making one of these hell shelves, animating it, and then spawning it in, the rest of this recipe is really cheap and everything's EMCable. Like, all we need was just these potions of regeneration. So I just went ahead and I just brewed them up. Yeah, really not a big, big thing to do here. So there is 12, right? All right, so we'll put all those in here. Just uh, one nether wart and one ghast tier is all we needed for those. Okay, so we should be able to make all of the hell shelves that we need. Oh, I guess I can only make those one at a time. Did I make one? I shift click this. Mm. Let's see, regeneration. Where? I'm confused. It was all in there. Potion. What just happened? It, sh it said it was here. I shift clicked it and then I don't see them anymore. What? Well, that's weird. For some reason, they all appeared inside the terminal instead of in my inventory where like, if you craft anything else, it always appears in your inventory. Hmm. Anyway, I guess there must be something unique about these guys. I don't know. Well, let's take a look at where we're at right now. So if we come over here, we click this and we look at this, we have a good portion of things ready to go. I still have to make those seer sigils and we have to make these life crystals. Well, we have to make one life crystal because that has EMC, uh, our red wafers. What are they called? Red gem wafer. All right, so those are done. So if we take a look at this, yeah, that's looking really good. Another thing we need to do is make another essence of knowledge bucket. We have one of those from previous when we were trying to take liquid XP and convert it into essence. And I mistakenly made some essence of knowledge. But to make this stuff on purpose, we can either use the or dictionary conversion or we can do this tome of knowledge. This is probably the easier way in my opinion. So I just use some of the uh, XP things. So we have a bunch of levels here and I'm just right clicking, which is taking my levels and filling it into this tome. And then we can just grab something like a, uh, a tank or whatever. Like so, and I think you just right click it on there, yeah? Okay, so yeah, there's a bunch of our essence of knowledge, bucket, got, and then I can right click that again to put it all back in here. And then I can do a shift right click if I want to, to empty the Tome of Knowledge and put it back as my levels, or we can just leave it in there for next time. I don't know. Either way, it's fine. We'll just uh, throw that back into here, get rid of this guy. And because now that I've placed it in the world and put some fluid in there, it has NBT, so it will never get uh, reabsorbed as EMC in the system, so I can just burn it like that, and then we don't take up another space on our on our disk drives over there. Okay, so now we have those guys. I think we're looking pretty good here. Oh yeah, um, ancient knowledge. So to make these, you take some awkward potions with a bottle of enchanting, and then you get the knowledge one version, then you do that same thing again, put a second bottle in, and then you get knowledge two. And these are the ones that we need, just knowledge too. All right. So now that we have those, yeah, we're looking really good here. Now, one thing I kind of had the blinders on when we decided that I, I when I decided that we were going to do this project uh, was these infinity ingots. We're going to have to get to those. And I don't know if we're going to actually be able to make this tome of knowledge today because of those. So that's something that we're definitely going to have to look at. So let's get rid of these guys. I need to make some seer sigils. And then also another thing is these fading matters. This is another thing that I didn't quite look at originally. So a fading matter requires 261 G of EMC. The white matter is 87, right? We've never made the fading matter before. Um, so if we take three white matter plus this stuff, we get a fading matter. And I can put that into here. So we just learned that for the first time. Fading matter. So we have 31 of those. So yeah, we actually can do this. So I need uh, eight of them. That's going to be a lot of EMC. All right. So we have those guys. Uh, we're looking really good here. So I need to make the life crystal. And then I have to make the seer sigils. So the life crystal requires us to have these different crystallized materials. So crystallized carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, and oxygen. So to make crystallized oxygen, um, in the crystallization thing, we need, oh, actually, I haven't even looked at this yet. Crystallized silica will make some of that. Crystallized alumina, which comes from 
Oh man, I don't even know how to. How are we even gonna do this? I haven't looked at this yet. So transmutation, I was thinking maybe we could do something here. All right, well, I tell you what, I'm gonna actually look into this one since I haven't done that yet and try and figure out the path to get this done. But we have made, well, we made crystallized gold previously, right? And that was just by putting a gold block into here and then they converted into the gold crystallized variant. I think you get four of those per gold block. Well, if we put in lapis, we do get some crystallized sulfur and some crystallized silica. And was it the crystallized silica that we needed to crystallize again into the oxygen? I can't remember. Oh, okay, well, that's how you do it. Cool. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get through this real quick so we can make a life crystal and then EMC it and never have to worry about it again. All right, well, making all these different crystallized phosphorus is just a journey through GEI trying to find how to craft each different thing. And I found out the issue from earlier. So this button right here, shift click output, shift clicking the output slot of the crafting grid will send items to your inventory, the linked ME network. I didn't know this was a thing before. Somehow this button got pressed and I never realized it, or maybe I've just never shift clicked uh, in the crafting terminal before. But anyway, we want it this way. So when you craft something, it goes into our inventory. So it, Otherwise, it just crafts and goes directly into the ME system, which we don't want. Anyway, uh, so now that we have uh, these crystals all done, we should be able to make this life crystal. There it is, sweet. I don't know if that's something that I need in my inventory for a quest or something, so I'll just leave it in there for just a moment. Doesn't appear so. We'll put it into here, and then life crystal. Now we have a million of them, awesome. So we can put all these other things away that we don't particularly need at the moment, cool. And then I've added everything into this shulker box here. All right, so Seer Sigil. Yep, I still gotta go ahead and make these and then we gotta figure out how we are going to deal with the Infinity Ingot. You know, I thought we had made the Seer's Sigil before, but I guess I was misremembering because I've made these in the past. We did make one Divination Sigil uh, but yeah, we haven't made the Sears one. But anyway, in order to make the Sears, we have to make this Sight Reagent. Did I call this Slight Reagent before? I can't remember. Anyway, Sight Reagent for each one of these. So we have to make four of those, but in fact, I'm gonna make five of them because I want a Sears Sigil instead of our Divination Sigil for just our normal Blood Magic usage. So in order to make that, we have to make Divination Sigils. In order to do that, we need Redstone plus Blink Slates um, in an alchemy array. So blink slates. Let's grab four of those. All right, so I have this and then it was redstone too, right? Redstone for those. Okay, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four. And I think you place them, I think you do the redstone first and then you put the blank slate on top of that. So we're gonna do redstone, 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 and blank slate, blank slate, blank slate, blank slate. Cool. So now we get to watch this little animation happen <laughs> four times. And when those are all done, we should get ourselves four divination sigils, like so, easy. Okay, so we have those and then I have the other one that we have made previously over here. So now we have five of those. All right, so in order to do the next thing, we need to make the Sight Reagent, which means we need the Hellfire Forge, which we haven't had a touch in quite some time. Um, actually, how much how much stuff does this need? Six, a drain zero, but we need at least 64 in a Tartarus, or in one of the, uh, or I'm sorry, Tartaric, or in one of these Demonic Wills. Uh, have we even done those yet? I can't remember. It's been a long time since we really gotten into blood magic. Oh yeah, look at this. We have a Grand Tartaric gem. Okay, perfect. Uh, apparently we have another star over here as well. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? I was thinking, yeah, I think I was planning on upgrading this greater Tartaric gem to the grand one. Maybe that's what I was going to do. Anyway, we don't have to worry about that right now. Um, so the site reagent, so that is glass and then glowstone. So we need glass, what is that? 10 glass and then five glowstone. And five of those, cool. So glass, glass, I don't, can you, oh, you can put in stacks. I can't, rem, I couldn't remember. So that, that, and this, 
Yeah, and then we just gotta wait for this to happen. That'll make ourselves a site reagent. These don't stack, unfortunately, but these will. Yeah, cool. So we can go ahead and make those, and that's not draining any will here, according to JEI. All right, so now that we have those, we get to do this process one more time, except we get to do it five times. So the site reagent goes in first, and then the reinforced slates. Okay, so we get to watch this animation five times. Is this going faster? I can't tell if it's going faster. Well, maybe not. Anyway, there's our seer sigil. So this gives us more information when we're looking at uh, our blood altar. It'll tell us the progress and other such things, the tier, the altar. Yeah, so if we're not holding this and we're looking at it, like all that info goes away, pressing shift doesn't do it. But if you're holding it, and also, I guess, over on the uh, left-hand side of the screen, it also kind of gives you that in non-text form. Yeah. Anyway, so that's kind of cool. We upgraded our divination sigil, so we'll have that for later. And now we have these guys for our uh, extreme crafting or ultimate crafting recipe over here. What is this called? Yeah, ultimate crafting. Awesome. All right, so that's done. So if I am correct here let's put these away and i don't need that on me anymore if i'm correct here we should have everything except for the infinity ingots and i am correct awesome so now comes that step and i haven't really looked at this but i know that we've looked at this previously or at least i remember doing this previously uh we're gonna need to make nine of these ingots and then we can animate it and never have to worry about that again so to make these we're gonna need white matter. Yep, so we are gonna need, was that 27 white matter? Is that right? 27? I think that's right. Uh, white matter, we have plenty in here. Okay, so I was just making sure, cause that's like the big thing here as far as EMC. Uh, neutronium is gonna be another thing. We haven't even touched this yet. So this might be something that we're going to have to look at. Actually, you know what? That is the thing that we're going to have to look at because that's a huge roadblock right now, which means we have to make the nugget, which means we have to make the pile of neutrons, which means we have to get a neutron collector. So neutron collector. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. So neutron collector. Block of iron, block of quartz, awakened core, ultimate ingot. We already have those lava infused stone. That's EMC able. I can't imagine that's hard to do. Hardened stone. What is this? Unhardened stone. So unhardened stone smells into hardened stone. Har unhardened stone. It's cobblestone, sand, clay, and iron. Interesting. All right. Uh, what else do we need here? The cooler, is these are these all coolers? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so cooler is a climograph base plus some snowballs, and that's all pretty easy stuff. All right, so going back to here. Crystallized redstone cluster. That requires us to have nine crystallized redstone, which comes from, you get four of those per redstone block, so that's pretty easy to do. All right, anything else in here that's going to be a gotcha? Compressed dark iron. No, I think everything else here is pretty easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and get this all crafted up. Okay, that was pretty straightforward to do. Yep, um, there wasn't anything too tricky here. I had to make a little bit more demon ingots. We've made that like way earlier on in the playthrough. Just had to smoke down some blocks of redstone to get the crystallized redstone cluster. But now we should have everything that we need in order to make this guy, except, oh, you know what? I didn't make the coolers. Whoops. All right, let's do that together. This should just take a second. Uh, so we need these guys. So just make one of those. Now we have all of them. Then we'll do this. And now we have all of those. And how many coolers was it? Six? Let's just grab a stack. All right. So anything that we don't use will be left over. We can just convert it back into EMC. And there we go. Awesome. So there is a neutron collector. All right, so neutron collectors, all you gotta do, oh, that is a quest complete. Yeah, all you gotta do with this guy is just throw it down somewhere and it slowly ticks up. Uh, we can accelerate that with the ritual anchor, I'm pretty sure, so we'll grab one of these guys. Need to grab, uh, I can never find this thing in here. Where is it? Um. 
It's right here, the linking tool. Okay, so yeah, we grab this guy, put this in my offhand, right click that. I gotta find out where we have the acceleration going. That's another problem with that is I kind of wish there was a way that we could tell where things are being accelerated because I never know where to look for it. Oh yeah, over here, of course. Okay, so now that we have that one disabled, we can link it right here and that will make this go faster. And of course, if we make it nighttime, it'll go faster still. Oh, that's different. I don't think I've clicked that since we made the draconic armor. Okay, so there we go. Now this is going a lot faster. Now we only have to make one of those since they have EMC and then we can just craft the nugget and then the ingot and then we are good to go. So we just gotta wait for this very first one to be created. And there it is. Pile of neutrons, that's it. We really don't need this anymore as far as I know. Does this have EMC? It doesn't. All right, we'll just throw that into the system. Get rid of this thing, get rid of that. Put that in, oh, actually, you know what? I don't want that in here. I want that in my pouch so I can find it next time because I can never remember the name of it. And we can get rid of those things and those. Awesome. Okay, so Neutron. Yep, so now that we have those, we can make this. And then now that we have those, we can make this. Awesome. So Neutron ingots are now done. Let's go ahead and clear out all of this stuff. So Infinity ingot. Yeah, so the Neutrons are done. We have the ultimate. We can... Can we make white gem? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and craft up some of those just so we have, actually, I'm gonna need more than that. Let's craft up like that many. All right, so yeah, that'll just go in the background over there. Uh, we need crystallized dredium, infinity catalyst. All right. Yep, that's another thing I didn't look at. <laughs> Yet another, oh no. Oh no, we're down the rabbit hole, guys. Ultimate singularity. Oh, this will be easy. This is gonna be easy. We'll just make the Tome of Knowledge. Look how easy the recipe is. Oh no, guys, what have I done? We are down the rabbit hole. Okay, so Infinity Ingot requires us to have the Infinity Catalyst. The Infinity Catalyst requires us to have the Ultimate Singularity, Ender's Pearl, which really shouldn't be that big of a deal to me. No, that's all like super easy actually. Uh, Ultimate Stew, EMC. Does any of these have EMC? Are we gonna actually have to, okay, so we have to grow tomatoes, tomatoes. Uh, spicy Greens, no EMC on that. Interesting, okay, so we're gonna worry about that probably another day. <laughs> Uh, the ultimate singularity. Yeah, actually, let's get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. So the ultimate singularity, also these record fragments. So you take one music disc. Okay, well, let's just do that. Music. We have a bunch of these. I guess we'll break apart 13. Okay, so now we got the record fragments. Um, Crystal matrix ingots. Yeah, we can craft those. No problem. I think everything. Oh, you know what? I didn't look at the cosmic meatballs. Raw gas meat. Okay, so this is where things are gonna get a little tricky. Thankfully, that has EMC, that has EMC, and this has EMC. So we just have to go and grab those once. Uh, imps. Okay, so that means we're gonna have to go capture an imp and spawn them in. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff to do for the cosmic meatballs and the ultimate singularity. I feel like this is probably gonna be the number one item that's gonna make me rage quit. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so coal singularity, in order to make one of those, we're gonna need over 9,000 coal blocks to make one coal singularity. And we're gonna need one coal singularity per ultimate singularity. And we are going to need one of those per infinity catalyst, which means, we get back over here, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 and then we need a full block so we can make the infinity block and spawn that in so we need 90 of each singularity oh boy so iron lapis none of this looks too bad if we go down to the bottom simple crystal singularity that's probably fine hardened rock candy fluex murian that doesn't have emc all right, so we're gonna have to do some stuff for this. <laughs> oh boy. 
Um, another thing is we're gonna want a quantum compressor for every type of these. Um, I think we've, have we made a quantum compressor? We haven't even made the quantum compressor yet. So let's take a look at this recipe. So this is elite crafting. Okay, so black iron, ender dragon. Uh-huh, okay. So this is all pretty much doable. I'm not seeing anything in here that's standing out as something that we can't do. All right, and this, I don't know if we can animate. I'm gonna make one, see if we can animate it and make our life easier. If we can't, well, then we're gonna have to make, uh, what is that, like 80 more of those? Yeah, anyway, let me go ahead and start crafting up on this quantum compressor. That's the first step, we'll be back. And a lot more crafting time later. We should have everything ready to go here. Now, I don't have a black iron frame on auto craft. In fact, I don't have black iron really on auto craft. The way the black iron works is we have a recipe over here that makes it by outputting all the ingredients in this chest and I have to manually take the items from that chest and come over here and put it into our ender crafter. Now, you know what? Now that I just said that, I didn't even consider that we could make a block out of it and spawn it in. Does black iron even have a block? Like if I take this guy, uses block of black iron. Okay, so yeah, that will be a way that we will do this in the future. So we shouldn't need this ender resonator anymore. But anyway, I just made a stack of that because we ran short. We didn't have enough for all the stuff that we needed here. Uh, but we do have a bunch now, black iron. Yeah, we have a bunch of this stuff, but yeah, I'll definitely make a block out of that animated, spawn it in, and we'll have all of this stuff in the future. Okay, so that problem is solved. Uh, everything else here was auto-craftable, the Elite Catalyst, Elite Components, Advanced Air Compressor, Electric Compressor. Yeah, all that stuff was ready to go, so we should be able to do this guy, Quantum Compressor. Okay, so first time we've made one of those, Again, I don't know if we can capture that mob imprisonment and then we'll grab our animation. I don't, uh, yeah, hopefully we can. Otherwise it's gonna be kind of a pain. Can we do this? Shift. Oh, we can. Okay, okay. I know people told me in the comments that we can animate certain things. I didn't know if that was one of them. Uh, so we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna rename this quantum compress, quantum comp how about that awesome okay so let's grab this guy we'll take it downstairs and spawn in a bunch of them and then we never at least theoretically we'll never have to worry about making it again so let's put that into what do we have in here the awakened draconium that's fine we'll spawn in extras of that into here that's set correctly oh baby let's go so let's take a look at this uh, that might be a problem. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get back in there. Get into your home. Why did that spawn over here? Maybe it got bumped by another one spawned right next to it or something. This should be big enough where, like, all the mobs can fall in there. I'll just have to make the walls taller and that should fix it going forward. So what's the deal with this thing? Do I dare, like, place it down? Do I dare? Uh, maybe I should make a world backup before doing that. <laughs> Where are they going? Oh no, I thought they were going somewhere. They're just all in my inventory. Yeah. So the other question is, if we're getting this from killing it using this guy, does it work if we kill it normally? That would be another thing that we'd have to try. Um. How long ago did, did the game back up to date? It hasn't backed up. I don't know how to force a backup. And I'm kind of scared about placing this without backing up. So tell you what, I'm going to back up the world. <laughs> and then we're going to place this down, see if it does anything. If it's just a normal block, then we're good to go. Otherwise, we have to figure out something else to do. All right, so the command is slash backup space start. It doesn't actually tell you that. If you just type slash backup, it tells you how long till the next server backup. What does it say? But, oh no, backup time. 
Okay, so now I won't back up again for two hours. I'm not opt on the server, so I had to do this through the, uh, the server console. So if I do backup start, it'll tell me I don't have permission to use that command. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and place this down and see what it does. Uh, oh, okay, okay. It doesn't look like anything bad. If I break this, then we get this thing back. <laughs> All right. Well, I was just wanting to make sure that we weren't going to crash the game by doing something stupid here. So that is one. We have 64. So we have a total of 68, I guess 69 of them. Uh, we need, what did I say, 81? Yeah, so we need a few more of these things. Uh, so yeah, this will be fun. Just got to place these guys down. It's so weird, the texture on these things. Yeah, so we gotta place these all down, vein mine break them, pick them all back up, and again, we needed 81 of these things. But yeah, as we've seen here, this is a thing that we can do. We can animate this, we can spawn it in, and we get a whole bunch of these guys, even though the texture looks a little weird after the uh, the creatures have been murdered. Uh, let's burn these things down here. All right, so that's all of them, and vein mine. Cool, so there is 64 plus five of them. We need more of them. But guys, we are out of time for today. We are. I know. Where'd all the time go? I was just getting started here. Yeah, so this episode, we kind of jumped into the more later game stuff. I still want to get some of the earlier game stuff done, but I felt like we've done just a bunch of like early game quests these last few episodes. I want to do something a little different today. But yeah, we're definitely going to try and get uh, all of the different agricraft seeds knocked out or mystical agriculture seeds. We still have to do the superium versions, the blue ones. And then we still got a bunch of other quests that we still have to knock out before yeah, we can call <laughs> this pack complete. So we might look at doing some of the earlier game quests as well next episode. But that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And... We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.